You're scrolling, connecting, liking. But do you ever feel a strange emptiness after? Now, imagine having the most connected job in history, floating in a tin can above the earth, with a constant stream of data and video calls from Mission Control, and still feeling utterly, devastatingly alone. Here's the twist that'll fry your brain. Psychologists call it the loneliness paradox. Astronauts on the ISS have more real-time contact with Earth than any explorer in history. Yet NASA's own research found something startling. After video calls with loved ones, their feelings of loneliness often got worse. Worse. Why? Because connection without physical presence is a cruel tease. It's a partial reward. Your brain can see them, but it can't feel them. That gap between seeing and being with someone actively deepens the ache. Here's the biology. Your brain is wired with mirror neurons that crave real bodies, shared space, and the subtle dance of micro-expressions. It's built for the oxytocin rush of a simple touch, cues that screens just can't deliver. So what did NASA find? The healthiest, most resilient crews didn't just text more. They built rituals, shared meals, sweaty workouts together, honest talks. They chose presence over pings. Screens became a tool to plan connection, not a substitute for it. So here's the challenge. Try five minutes of real, undivided attention with someone. No scroll, no camera, just a person. See how it feels.